It's now. Welcome to Newswatch 12 at 5. I'm Griffin Stroyan. A judge sentenced a former Rhinelander nurse to four years of prison today. Evan Sheedy of Three Lakes secretly recorded a partially nude patient last year. Sheedy appeared in Oneida County Court this afternoon. He was a nurse at St. Mary's Ascension where he took a video of a patient without her consent. Judge Thomas Egan called Sheedy's actions horrific. It's a horrific violation of trust of a patient going to seek medical care, uh, not being able to uh, trust the nurse or a doctor or whatever the position is, is a horrible thing to do to someone. And sentenced Sheedy to one count of capturing an intimate representation and a separate count of child pornography possession. After four years in prison, Sheedy will have three more years under supervision. Restitution will be paid to the victim in an amount to be determined. Well, Conrad, I know we had some snow earlier on, but it seems to be going away. Yes, yes, of course. This snow has passed on by. It's to the west right now of us, we could see a little bit more of that snow getting a little bit heavier in the peninsula up here, but we are clear of that snow right now. These clouds are starting to thin out, and with that, yes, these blowing winds will be coming on by, and that's why we do have a lot of these advisories out here. Might look a little bit uh, hard to read with a lot of these colors, but just remember, the main thing out here is these winds. We could see a lot of these advisories out here, and that is mostly for the wind, and that is going to be picking up throughout the afternoon hours into tomorrow morning, creating a very, very cold wind chill, feels like temperature. So definitely bundle up out there, folks. And we could see these winds are going to start picking up. Right now we have 22 in Rhinelander, but check out Lady Smith coming in with sustained winds at 35 miles per hour. And they will be starting ahead to our, our area. But these temperatures right now, they will start to drop significantly. Look at the overnight hours, well below zero. I'll have the full weather forecast a little bit later on. Griffin? Thank you. Once every month, the Rhinelander National Guard Armory comes alive with tons of volunteers and hundreds of cars. Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson takes us behind the scenes of a pop-up pantry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Diane Timling finds so much joy in packing a shopping cart full of food. The food isn't for her. Everyone goes home with a lot of food. There's food from just about every food group. For just a $22 cash donation, people go home with over $100 worth. Today we've got a lot of choices of really good things. Diane is the volunteer coordinator at Ruby's Pantry in Rhinelander. Every month there's a pop-up pantry at the National Guard Armory with 265 shares of food. And it couldn't be done without the volunteers, 120 of them to be exact. 60, 70 show up every month to help do all of this work. They love serving the community and serving um, just all the clients that come and get the food. A lot of the volunteers come from Calvary Baptist Church. Well, it's one of the things we look forward to doing. Um, we believe in this community. This is a great community to be a part of. The Northwoods area is filled with wonderful people. And so we're just really glad to be a part of it. Pastor Ankrum is always looking for more volunteers. The pop-up pantry happens the third Tuesday of every month. Their mission is just to serve the community, to offer um, food um, and spiritual food also, um, to feed their souls and to feed their bodies. Reporting for Newswatch 12 and Ryan Lander, I'm Morgan Johnson. The next Ruby's Pantry food distribution is March 15th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. The Eagle River Historical Society launched its newest Facebook series earlier this month. This year's theme is Objects That Connect to Eagle River History. It's a part of a continued effort by the Society to make its history more accessible during the pandemic. We're trying to come back um, with COVID, not having people necessarily come in, but to still get the objects out there and just do that kind of learning. The series highlights object-based learning for all ages. It's an educational method that uses authentic or replica material objects to help spark imagination and add depth to learning. Both in its past, its utilization, um, its significance, uh, its impact on culture, all of that 
um, is within the possibility of being triggered by an object. The Society will post about twice a month for the year. You can find its page on Facebook at Eagle River Historical Society. Wisconsin Senator Roger Roth has announced that he will run for lieutenant governor in the upcoming election. The Republican politician from Appleton shared this announcement at a worker visit to Alpha Prime in Menasha. He has served in the state Senate since 2015 and brings 17 years of experience in the National Guard. The plans for his potential successor in the House are still unknown. The primaries for the lieutenant governor spot will be held in August. The Wisconsin Assembly has approved a list of bills from the Republican Party that will tighten eligibility for unemployment benefits and Medicaid coverage. The bills will go to the state Senate. They are expected to be voted on by the end of the month. If they pass, the Senate may, or in the Senate, many believe that Governor Tony Evers will veto the proposal if they reach his office. Nonetheless, the attempted legislation allows the GOP to bring worker shortage problems to the limelight. Specifically, the bills would make food stamp eligibility more extensive, require drug testing for unemployment benefits, and equalize business opportunity for non-essential sectors, to name a few. The man charged with starting a home fire last summer has reached a plea agreement. Stephen Matfield was in court for the hearing on Thursday, facing charges for arson and reckless endangering safety. The 36-year-old was arrested in June when first responders were brought to the property. While there were no injuries, the home was destroyed. The Athens man pled no contest to reckless endangering safety, but his arson charge was waived. He will serve two and a half years in prison and five years of extended supervision. A state appeals court has ruled methamphetamine seized from a bicyclist in Wisconsin Rapids can't be used as evidence against him because the arresting law enforcement officer had no probable cause to stop him. Jir Meadow was riding his bike in April 2020 when a deputy attempted to make contact. He didn't stop and the deputy later arrested him and found 57 grams of meth on him. Now at the time, investigators said he had outstanding warrants. Meadow was convicted of possession of methamphetamine with intent to deliver. But in October of 2020, he was sentenced to four years in prison. He appealed, arguing that the deputy lacked reasonable suspicion to stop him and therefore violated his constitutional rights. The appeals court agreed. Uh, they sent the case back to the circuit court where it would be revived but without the drug evidence. The DNR announced additional funding for storm cleanup in Tomahawk and Marathon County. The state funding comes as a result of a severe storm that hit these parts of the state with several tornadoes and even a state of emergency warning from Governor Evers. Five communities applied and accepted this money through the department's Urban Forestry Catastrophic Storm Grant. The grants can cover tree repair removal and replacement under select rules. After not holding one for the last few years, the Northwoods Honor Flight chapter plans to bring veterans from the area to Washington, D.C. The event is an opportunity for veterans to visit the nation's capital for a one-day trip, to see the monuments and memorials made in their honor. The Northern Wisconsin Division named the Never Forgotten Honor Flight shared the news earlier today. They have the trip set for May 2nd and June 6th. They have not published any dates for the fall yet. In total, the branch has traveled to our nation's capital 38 times, bringing upward of 3,600 local veterans. Tomorrow in Merrill, the annual Sleds and Jams event will be taking place. And if you are attending, you could be helping out a family in need. We'll tell you about that right after Maine Weather with Conrad, right here on Newswatch 12. It's the biggest mattress sale of the year. Mattress Marathon continues this weekend at Furniture and Appliance Mart's President's Day Sale. Get the guaranteed best offer at Wisconsin's number one mattress retailer. Plus save up to 65% off doorbusters like these. Furniture and Appliance Mart. Three, two, one. This is the extreme, I love it. Where the smoke, there's fire. Bow down, bow down. This is my world now, this is my world now. Bow down. So you better bow down. Allergies with nasal congestion overwhelming you? 
breathe more freely with powerful Claritin D. Get fast relief of your worst allergy symptoms, including nasal congestion, so you can breathe better. Claritin D. Breathe better. Don't miss the Northwoods Blizzard Blast at Conover Community Park Saturday, February 19th. It's a flurry of winter fun for everyone. Sleigh rides, recliner races, kids carnival, dog sled, giant ski races, and more. The Northwoods Blizzard Blast, February 19th. He should have used his power to serve Wisconsin. Instead, Ron Johnson served himself. An investigation found that Ron Johnson pushed through a special tax loophole that benefited his own family's business. After the loophole became law, Ron Johnson cashed out of the company for $5 million. Ron Johnson has doubled his wealth since taking office. Look up the facts and tell Ron Johnson to stop passing tax laws that benefit himself. It's the biggest mattress sale of the year. Mattress Marathon continues this weekend at Furniture and Appliance Mart's President's Day Sale. Get the guaranteed best offer at Wisconsin's number one mattress retailer. Plus save up to 65% off doorbusters like these. Furniture and Appliance Mart. All right, and let's get right into that weather conditions right now. We could see our camera out there in Eagle River showing that snow starting to move on out of our area, but these clouds are still lingering in the area. But with these clouds on in here, yes, we will have some more gusty winds. But let's look at this radar right now, showing most of that precipitation moving on out in the UP of Michigan and eastern Wisconsin. And we will start to thin out with the clouds, but with that, we do have some of those uh, wind chills that will be well, well below zero out here. That's why we do have a lot of these wind chill advisories and wind advisories out here a little bit more south of us. These winds will start to pick up into the overnight hours. Right now, our winds aren't too bad coming in at 22 miles an hour out here in Rhinelander. But look at Lady Smith. Winds at 35 miles an hour, and that is all headed east to us and that will bring that feels like temperature much lower than it actually is out there. And for the snow, not much uh, for the future. We do see a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, a little bit 0.3, half an inch out here. So a dusting over here and maybe a little bit more um, northern Wisconsin, closer to Iron River and Lando Lakes coming in close to one inch of snow for the future. We could see that uh, low pressure system has moved on out of our area, but look at this right here. These clouds right here, yes, and that is another big snowmaker that's coming to our area Monday, Tuesday timeframe. Might actually be our biggest snowmaker we've gotten this season. So definitely, we'll definitely keep an eye on this one. It'll definitely help out those snowmobiling trails out here. Currently, our temperatures are in the low 20s, even mid 20s to upper 20s, a little bit south of us. So it's not too bad right now, but as those winds start to pick up, yes, those feels like temperatures will definitely be on the cooler end. So put on an extra layer. Check out these morning feels like temperatures coming in at 22 below zero. So definitely an extra layer is needed for that morning routine. And even throughout the day, temperatures still stay well below zero for that feels like temperature. And that is the temperature we feel on our skin. The temperature trend, look at that for Sunday, coming in at 40 degrees before a cold front comes on by for Monday into Tuesday, dropping those temperatures into the low to mid teens. But for tonight, temperatures will be five degrees below zero with some snow showers ending. That wind will actually start to pick up gusting to even 40 miles an hour. So, you know, temperature might be a little bit below zero, but that feels like temperature will be much more colder than that. So an extra layer is definitely needed overnight into the morning commute tomorrow. Tomorrow, temperatures will start to rebound just a little bit into the low to mid teens, but check out that wind from the south from 10 to 25 miles per hour. So that feels like temperature will be on the colder end for most of the day tomorrow. And our seven day forecast is brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress. The big seven day forecast. Check out this temperature for Sunday, 40 degrees. That is definitely uh, the nicest temperature we've had out here in a while. But then a cold front comes on by Sunday night into Monday. And with that, we do have another storm system coming in. We'll give you guys a little bit more of an update on that once we get closer to that. Back to you. 40 degrees on Sunday is unbelievable. Thank you. Uh, thousands will flock to Lando Lakes this weekend for the town's annual radar run.
The event features a 1,000 foot snow track right by Bent's Camp Resort. There will also be free hot chocolate, raffles, and music. The money raised at the event goes right back into area trails and by supporting the Frosty Snowmobile Club. Well, we got to keep those trails smooth, keep the people coming up here, keep them spending money in our local lodging and restaurants and, and things. And so far, so good. It's been a great season. Last year, the radar run raised over $6,000. Registration for this year's run begins at 10, a, uh, 10 in the morning on Saturday. The popular bikini run will be at 3 p.m. The Merrill Community Ride is hosting their annual Sleds and Jams event tomorrow. This is the sixth year that the group has hosted this event. Uh, this year, the group is partnering with a Merrill area family that has two children who have been diagnosed with a genetic liver disorder. They are hoping to raise funds to help the family cover the costs associated with treatment. There will be an organized snowmobile ride, a piker run, and an evening celebration. For more information, you can check out the Merrill Community Rides Facebook page. The number of children dying from drug overdoses has increased dramatically. Next, we'll share one mother's story and how she has been affected. We'll be right back. As a Wisconsin pediatrician, I've told lots of Wisconsin parents the same thing. COVID-19 safety steps don't have to limit your family's freedom. Wearing a mask at school and getting vaccinated can let kids get back to being kids, and that's healthy. Keeping up with COVID-19 safety as a family can help your kids stay safe and in school. Ask your child's doctor what they think. Do you know the secret to losing up to one pound of fat every day? At Wausau Weight Loss, we know the secret. Our unique doctor-supervised program makes it easy to lose weight, get healthy, and get your energy back safely, naturally, and effectively. If you'd love to lose unhealthy fat without counting points or calories, no exercising, no prepackaged meals, no HCG, no drugs, no hypnosis or surgery, call Wausau Weight Loss today at 715-203-8695. Hi, I'm Joe Malone from Big Cheese 10. Wisconsin's Big Variety. I lost a total of 54 pounds, 33 and a half inches on Wausau weight loss. I know the secret. Before doing Wausau weight loss, I felt very lethargic. I did Wausau weight loss. I dropped the pounds and now I feel better. I have my energy back. I feel healthy. It is the most effective weight loss program I've ever done in my life. For your free private weight loss consultation, call Wausau weight loss today at 715-203-8695. This is the purpose-built Ford F-150. It's a beast with brains. It, you know what? Skip this video. Go see one at the auto show. It's auto show time. The best time to buy a Ford F-150 with ways to power up this and that. Work smarter. Muscle for most anything. Plus, special auto show offers to help you bring one home today. Now get a 2021 F-150 with 0.9% financing for 60 months, plus 1,000 auto show bonus cash. The number of children overdosing and dying from illegal drugs is skyrocketing. Many young teens are unknowingly buying counterfeit pills, often through social media, that are laced with fentanyl, an opioid up to 100 times more potent than heroin. CNN's Elizabeth Cohen reports. That's one of the last pictures of him. That's actually the shirt he died in. In June of 2020, Amy Neville found her son Alexander dead in his bedroom. I went in his room, and he was blue. Just laying on his beanbag chair, just like he'd gone to bed. You know, like he'd just fallen asleep there. Alexander was 14 years old, just a child. Legos and Boy Scouts and teddy bear. I mean, and he died of fentanyl. It just doesn't make sense. You know, it's, sometimes it's a wake up, and I, it's hard to understand that this is our life. Here we are. You lost him so young. Yeah. Fentanyl, a highly toxic synthetic opioid, a drug like no other, is killing middle schoolers nationwide. They should be watching cartoons and eating, uh, you know, bad cereal. They shouldn't be dropping dead from taking counterfeit pills. 
Special Agent Robert Murphy with the Drug Enforcement Administration says kids who think they're buying Xanax or Adderall or OxyContin from their drug dealer, most of the time they're actually getting knockoffs, fake pills that are laced with fentanyl. And just a few milligrams of fentanyl can be a fatal dose. We're seeing 40% of the pills that are being analyzed now have a potentially fatal dose of fentanyl. But back when we were kids, if a middle schooler experimented, it didn't kill them. We're de dealing with a different threat, a drug threat. Uh, fentanyl has changed that game. While still rare, drug deaths among children ages 10 to 14 more than tripled from 2019 to 2020, according to an analysis done for CNN by the CDC. Just in the past month, 12-year-old Delilah Medeiros in California died of fentanyl poisoning. And fentanyl killed a 13-year-old boy in Connecticut. Police say they recovered 40 bags of fentanyl from his school and about 100 bags from his bedroom. What did Alex think he was taking? Oxycodone. He thought he was taking legitimate prescriptions. The pill that Alexander took, if it was a legitimate prescription pill, he'd still be here. But instead, that pill had enough fentanyl in it to kill at least four people. Children have grown up thinking prescription pills are safe. Whatever it is, you've got pills for it. So we all trust the pills, especially when they're young. Looks legit. You didn't know to say to Alex, one pill could kill you. Exactly. We had no idea one pill would kill him. We had no idea about fentanyl. We talked to our kid. If talking to Alex is all it took, that kid would have lived forever. But... This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. The Burlow Mattress Mismatch is back. It's our biggest sale of the year. Mismatch on the outside, same Burlow quality on the inside with our lifetime comfort guarantee. Just put a sheet on it. Wake up, sleep better. Burlow. Forest County Potawatomi Health and Wellness Center is hiring. These positions offer a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Visit fcp.jobs to apply and see other openings. The President's Sale at Slumberland Furniture is one of the biggest sales of the year, now with special doorbusters. Starting Sunday, get incredible doorbuster deals, like a modern sofa chase with a free lift-off table, all while they last. Wow. Wow is right. Deals up to 60% off list throughout the store. Find a great accent piece, a warm fireplace, an amazing recliner, one of the best times to buy furniture. The huge President's Sale at Slumberland Furniture. Craving a cut above the rest? Perkins Butcher Block Menu is back, starting at just $8.99. Sink your teeth into our hearty man's combo, steak quesadilla, and more. And don't forget a fresh baked pie from our bakery. Take it home or order online at PerkinsToGo.com. There are never enough hours in the day. I'm always making trade-offs, sacrifices. But I'll keep going. <laughs> Even when it feels like there's no way I can do it all, I won't give up. I'm doing this for me and for them. We're doing this together. North Central Technical College's virtual college. Flexible learning because our time is precious. NBC News Watch 12. News from where you live. The Burlow Mattress Mismatch is back. It's our biggest sale of the year. Mismatch on the outside, same Burlow quality on the inside with our lifetime comfort guarantee. Just put a sheet on it. Wake up, sleep better, Burlow. All right, Conrad, I have a quick question for you. Yes. When you moved here, did you invest in any snow tires or anything <laughs> like that? Yes, I actually did buy, purchased two new tires. I kind of had to, you know, I have a front wheel drive car, so it's not a, not a all wheel drive car, so you know, front sure, wheel drive sure. kind of had to get uh, extra tires for a lot more snow out here compared to Chicago. Well, you might be getting a lot, you might be getting some new tires. Uh, Michelin's actually trying to quote unquote reinvent the wheel. Uh, the company is working with General Motors to create airless tires. You heard that, that will come um, on the updated Chevrolet Bolt uh, electric car. These vehicles are expected to go on the market 
market within the next few years. Uh, officials say airless tires have advantages, which could include obviously no longer worrying about leaks in your tires. But automakers have been building cars and their internal systems on the premise of air-filled tires. So that could result in necessary adjustments in the process. Um, there is some irony though in this story that of course, the Michelin working on airless tires, uh, their world famous mascot, the Michelin man, he is made up of air filled tires. So I, is he gonna have like lightning bolts coming out of him? I, I honestly don't know what the heck they would do with him. Yeah, um, but speaking of tires, I mean, we'll definitely need some tires, especially after the snow. We're gonna have a little bit of a blowing snow going on tonight into tomorrow morning. So let's look at a couple graphics right now, if we can, um, to talk more about that wind that will start to pick up Look at these winds that are coming in from the west, and they're going to be very gusty at times, so definitely be careful on that ride back home, especially in the morning hours as well. With that wind, that will create a lot of blowing snow everywhere. We could see most of that precipitation has moved on past our area, but with some of that clearing, yes, that means more winds, and these winds will get gusty. We just actually had a gust in Wausau come in at 52 miles an hour, so these winds are uh, not to be played around with. It's very, it's going to get very windy throughout the night into the morning hours. And that seven day forecast shows these temperatures still on the lower end for tomorrow, but check out Sunday. Wow, you could almost bring out the grill with these 40s out there. I honestly can't believe 40 in February here in the Northwoods. I will be bringing out my grill. You can put that so. <laughs> on paper. All right, well, thank you guys for joining us here at Newswatch 12 at five. We will make sure to check in and get you more at six.